So this is my take on a mermaid look for Halloween. Uh, not for every day. Of course, I go to work like this. So uh, if you want to see how to get this, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put on some primer. Born to Glow by NYX Illuminating Primer. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand for now. And then dab it all over the face. And the green will help to cancel some of the red. And then I'm going to take the Cover Effects Custom Drops in Celestial. You can see that. And I'm gonna mix that in with the foundation so that I look like I have even more of a glow. It's like the Terminator, it's like mermaid style. So I'm gonna mix that with my foundation which is Born This Way Too Faced by Too Faced and it's in light beige. Been really liking this foundation lately. Pretty lightweight and good coverage. So I'm just gonna mix that together. Just dab it all over the face. And then I'm gonna just push that into the skin with my beauty blender. And this one is um, just sponge from Morphe actually. Uh, so now I'm just going to set that so it doesn't move and I'm just going to use uh, my Kat Von D um, locket setting powder and not too much because we want that um, dewiness to still come through. First, my brows. I'm just gonna start to brush them. And if you want, you could change the color of your brows by using some shadow, eyeshadow as well. But I think I'm just gonna leave them the way I have it right now. And just use Ebony by, um, Ebony Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm just going to sweep through and fill them in. And just use a spoolie to comb the product through. Okay. I'm just going to use my NYX um, Perfect Filter palette. Um, just this color here to start us off. Um, for the base. Just gonna pat it all over the lid so that it can help um, with the other colors to go on a little bit easier. And then for um, transition, I'm gonna use uh, a little bit of the burgundy for transition. And I'm just using another Morphe brush, and this is um, the Morphe M576, a pointed um, crease brush. So I'm just going to go in here and take a little bit of the brown as well. And that's just going to help deepen the outer corner and make it look like I have a bit more depth there. 
before I go all crazy with some other colors. And I'm just going in little circles and then windshield wiper motions. And then you can always go back to your fluffy blending brush, the Morphe M218 that I used originally. Um, and take some more of that base and just kind of blend that out. You don't want harsh lines. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Juvia palette, um, the Masquerade palette by Juvia. And these are its colors here. Crazy. These are crazy pigmented. Um, but I want to use some of this in the uh, crease so that I can transition the more colorful colors into it. So I'm just going to take some of this on the same um, brush, the M576, and maybe some of this color here too. So that's Ada and Cairo. Take the excess off. Go in a little bit lower than where you had first put those, the darker colors out. And bring it all the way in, like start on the outer end, and then as you get less product, bring it in. This mermaid is gonna be blue-green-ish. So I think I'm going to go with um, this in the center, and it's called Zola. Take a flat brush, and I don't know who this one is by. It's just a flat brush, and I'm going to just spray some of the Fix Plus on it, and take some of the color. And this is just so that it looks even more pigmented and foiled. I'll pack a punch. I'm gonna put that on the center of my lid. I'm bringing it towards the inner corner as well, but I'm actually gonna be Probably covering that up with a little bit more glitter. Okay. By Stila. It's their Magnificent Metals. And this is in Diamond Dust. And I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. Give it more pop. And I just made it come to a point. I'm going to go back in with uh, the pointed brush M576. And I'm going to take some of this dark blue um, Dahlia on the very point of it. And I'm just going to go towards the outer edges here. Now we're going to take some fishnet tights that I got from the dollar store. And this is so that we can put the scales on. It's just an easy way to stencil out some scales. Of course, you don't need the whole thing. Um, if you're going to go to a, cost, a costume party and you want to get, not just do your face, Save parts of it so that you can do your shoulder and your arms, but we're not going to go to that extent today. I'm just going to use this. You put it over the top of your head, so we're going to look funny here. And you don't want it to move, so 
think the first thing, whoops, that we want to do is go to the outer edges with a darker color and I'm going with this blue again. You don't want this to move around too much so make sure you hold it because otherwise your scales are going to be blurring together. So, what you could do if you really can't see is cut out some holes. So I'm just going around the outer perimeter with like darker color. <laughs> so then I'm going to go in with the lighter color just underneath that. And then take it off. And you should have some scales. Essentially, you should have your scales in place. Now, I kind of want, I'm gonna do some contour first. And when you do contour, I'm gonna take my blue again and contour my face. Where is that brush here? So I'm using um, the Real Techniques contour brush and I'm going to take the dark blue because I want to chisel out some cheekbones. And then I'm going to use for blush, I'm gonna go in with hmm, go in with some green, and that is Mally. Okay, so I, I feel like I'm covering up some of the scales, so I'm gonna go over, which is what I said not to do, but. I need to. Okay, so I've cut some holes so I can see. And I'm going to go in and... Uh, where is my uh, brush? I'm going to go in with some Skin Frost by Jeffree Star. And I'm going to layer that on top so that there's some shine. It's gonna come off. Woo! So, you could probably find fishnet stockings that have bigger diamonds or stretch this out more because that's what I should have done. But, lesson learned. Just need to finish the eyes and the lips, and that's it. So, I also have some glitter here um, from LA, LA Splash some green one and I think that'll be nice on the, the eyes as well can I have too much glitter in this look So I'm not putting lashes on for this look, but you certainly can. Um, I don't normally wear lashes on the daily, but I will curl them. 
I'm just using the Maybelline Pump Up Colossal Mascara. Yeah, I don't know, it's already pretty glittery, but let's see what this does after a minute. So we'll wait for it to dry, and then we'll test it out. Okay, so let's see if this works. Oh yeah! And supposedly the more you press it together, more glitter you get. So, this is my take on mermaid. Um, but lesson learned, if you're gonna recreate this look, I would suggest that you get fishnet stockings that have, they're not as tight together. In, in terms of the, the the weave of it because it's really hard to tell from far away. It just looks like I came from space. But this is something you could try. Um, I think it will work well with a stocking that has bigger um, diamond holes <laughs> because it's kind of hard to tell. But you get the gist that this is the what it was going for and um, try it out let me know how it goes and if you do um, tag me I am on Instagram um, the house of Karen and I would look forward to seeing your looks <laughs>